Hello and welcome to round two of the Biscuit Manufacture Showdown, Super Wagons. Let's get things moving by bringing in our benchmark car, the Bissan Satellite GX. The Bissan Satellite GX was made to compete with the German wagon market. To do this, Bissan took the rather tame longitudinal front wheel drive satellite they used the same 1.2 litre i4 as the best selling Rook and rebuilt it from the chassis up. The GX got a 3 litre V6 making 500 horsepower on almost 400 foot pounds of torque. That's almost 5 times the power of the original. The body was widened to accommodate wider sports wheels and a wind tunnel tested for better quartering performance. The manual gearbox was dropped in favour of the same dual clutch transmission from the GTQ along with an all wheel drive unit. The interior got a makeover too, alongside better safety standards, making this one hell of an autobahn cruiser. The Satellite GX got a time of 1 minute 22.963 at the Top Gear test track, putting it in between a Mercedes AMG S65 Black Series and the new Alpine A110. Coming in last place this week is Aurora with the Axelorol that did manage a time of 1 minute 30.284. The Axolotl, a family premium wagon that combines styling from the eastern and western countries to create a unique looking vehicle, powered by a naturally aspirated 4.2 litre V8, and equipped with a tow hook and all wheel drive, it can pull a well kept caravan for those well deserved family trips. And the next spot is Helvetti. The CBTDW is not for normal people. That comes quite clear when looking at it. So who is the W for? It's for the man who wants a wagon for his kids, but a sports car for himself. The 4 litre twin turbo V8 makes sure you get to keep up with anyone on the road, or maybe keeping your kids glued to the seats. Its tail and imposing figure will scare away any Karens that think you should get a hybrid. If you crash it, don't worry. Will take anyone inside. Additionally, if your wife isn't keen on a 550 horsepower wagon, we'll remove all the performance badging from the car for free. We know you love her, but you also love yourself. Don't let your way free the brochure and have fun. The car only managed a 1 minute 29941. Wolf's contender wagon is next with a 1 minute 28975. The sleek three-door wagon produces 462 horsepower from its 4.5 litre dual overhead cam V8. The all-wheel drive monocoque chassis means it goes like a rocket while still feeling comfortable to the driver. And of course, the V8 engine means it sounds glorious. Coming in behind the benchmark Bisson is Calcedonia with the Turismo GT. Calcedonia Turismo GT is the supercar of the school run. It joins a long lineup of cars from Calcedonia that attempt to hold a candle to the jet big German makers. 550 horsepower, 4.3 litre V8 that takes the Turismo to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. This means you'll be able to have the lion as you'll be able to set up for school much later. This, this will smoke the average family estate with all drive and a supercar style dual clutch transmission. And then coming in just ahead of the Bisson with a 1 minute 22 797 is the Shogun by the Ice Inc. Inc. Ice Inc. Inc brings its first family sport wagon to the market. The Shogun, weighing in at 3,411 pounds, producing 540 horsepower and 364 foot pounds of torque from a turbocharged inline 6, just costing 75,400. Taking our third position this round is Bolt, with the, uh, mm -hmm, that, the Bolt that BTED, often called the TTH, is the fastest family wagon the company has ever made. Equipped with a nationally aspirated 4.7 litre V10, that's two cylinders for every person the TTH has seats comfortably, paired to a six speed dual clutch transmission. This whirlwind wagon gets from 0 to 60 quicker than the average English speaker can say its full name. It'll carry on all the way to 172 miles per hour. Coincidentally, is how many thousands of dollars the TH will set you back. Man no matter though, the TTH will get the kids to school and yourself to work in the blink of an eye, so you can begin earning back the money 
that much sooner. Its time was a 1 minute 18 318 and then Rhythmworks jumps into second with a 1 minute 18 316. The Rhythmworks and the motor Momo at £571,000 apparently people still want to buy it. We're not complaining. <laughs> An unusually short description from the Wivenworks team. This leaves SMH, I mean SMC, to first place with a 1 minute 17 256. The final high performance production version of the SMC and the Tuning Snowstorm is finally out with a mighty 550 horsepower. Enough torque to snap your neck from the 7.2 litre naturally aspirated V10. It might be a bit old school, but the SMC Thor is all about how stuff was back then with a modern twist on it and the best thing is this practical and all drive so the whole family can go skiing during the winter So let's go to the leaderboards. Let's add the times and the points earned. And then let's look at our final totals. Our next round is 50s key cars. The regulations are a max CC of 360, must be road legal, must cost less than 11,000, the year must be set to 55 at the earliest, or 59 at the latest. Our testing track for this round will be West Coast USA Drift Loop. Good luck and I look forward to seeing your entries.